All right, good Wednesday evening, everybody. Let's get right to it here in Helena. We had a, a little inversion this morning, a little freezing rain, some snow last night. The snow, though, on Mount Helena has melted during the day, or at least the new snow on the trees because of temperatures coming up and because of wind. 44 degrees right now with west winds just recently gusting up close to 30 miles per hour, but a much different story up in Great Falls, 17 degrees and pretty much all of north central Montana, all of the high line on the cold side of the front. Look at that wind direction coming in from the northeast at 14 miles per hour. Feels more like three degrees. So this little boundary did lift north of Great Falls today, but now it's been pushed back down to the south. And I think it's pretty much set up shop here uh, right in between the Electric City and the capital. Lewistown looks like the front is just dropping through with the temperature now falling into the upper 20s. But Look at the teens, single digits even up into extreme northeast Montana on the warm side of this boundary. We're in the 30s and the 40s. Now there you can really see with the wind as well. Anywhere where the wind is coming in from the north and the northeast on the cold side of the boundary, but coming in from the west and it is fairly warm. We've got a lot of watches, warnings, advisories here throughout the state. This is a big one though. The winter storm warning really going all the way into Friday morning here for north central Montana for heavy snow 4 to 12 additional inches on the plains of Montana and uh, the mountains could see as much as 10 to 24 inches of snow. And then there is a winter storm watch, not a warning just yet. It will likely be upgraded to a warning, though. This is for the capital out through Mark County to Broadwater, Jefferson County as well. This is going until five o'clock tomorrow evening. Not quite as much snow and the onset of the snow will be a little later where we are under a winter storm watch than the winter storm warning. Snow already falling here for a lot of North Central Montana, north of Great Falls, some snow breaking out around Chester. This is with that colder air that is really beginning to come through, and we've got some snow out around uh, in between Haver, Fort Belknap, over to Malta, out through Glasgow, and then a little snow uh, at times may have mixed with a few raindrops out through Central Montana, through Stanford and Lewistown, and uh, the capital down through towns in Wolf Creek, even Lincoln, relatively dry and warm because we are still on the warm side of that front. A little snow there up on the scapegoat in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. So what will happen? North Central Montana, Eastern Montana will continue to see the snow here tonight into tomorrow morning. Notice a little green here just off of the mountains. That's uh, an indication of some of that warmer air that will persist again right almost all the way up to Great Falls. But overnight tonight, very snowy for the High Line, waking up to some solid snow. Northeast Montana, Great Falls seeing that snow. It's not until the afternoon, uh, late afternoon, that the capital will start to see the snow snow with the colder air coming through, but very difficult travel Thursday all the way into Friday. We still have some snow around Great Falls out through around Lewistown down through the capital. Uh, even Butte America getting into some of that snow here. Snowfall accumulations. Look at this by tomorrow morning. Have our another three to six inches of snow. The purple and yeah, we're talking in excess of six inches of snow and then into Thursday night and Friday morning. That's when southwestern Montana will really begin to pick up some of the accumulation. Snowfall fall totals by the time all said and done here Friday evening. The capital three to eight inches of snow, less snow because of the later onset. Great Falls, I'm still thinking about six to 12 inches. Have her 10 to 20 cup bank, maybe 10 inches, but a little further west there, closer to East Glacier over to around Browning, as much as 20 inches of snow in Lewistown, Fergus County getting hit pretty hard. Here's the forecast for tonight. Staying cold in Great Falls. Look at that 27 though down in Cascade, North Central Montana, some good snow breaking out here and continuing through the overnight hours. Central Montana, some snow, but look at the capital temperature staying just above the freezing point. And here's the forecast for tomorrow. Uh, again, staying cold in Great Falls and points north. The high line really in the single digits above and below zero. Central Montana, a snowy day tomorrow and around the capital still may still make it up into the 40s with the temperatures dropping in the afternoon all the way down into the single digits tomorrow night. So a pretty rapid freeze over light snow on Friday, cold start to the weekend. Looks like maybe a few snow showers next Wednesday for Valentine's Day and for the electric city staying cold. It's a snowy Thursday, very cold Thursday night. Then again, Friday night looks like the snow tapers off by Friday afternoon and a little wind over the weekend could blow and drift that snow around. So my Friday morning drive to work is going to be like that will not be good pretty much anywhere around the state. All right.